Display of kit. Take out the kit. Check its label and internal reagents, and read instructions carefully. If you have any questions, please contact the manufacturer in time to avoid unnecessary mistakes during the experiment, and pay attention to the specific expiry date from the label outside of box. Centrifuge sample for five minutes at 1000 G for Celsius degrees. Centrifuge reference standard for one minute at ten thousand G for Celsius degrees. One microliter of a reference standard and sample diluent. Stand for one to two minutes. Seven EP tubes. Add the same volume of reference standard of sample diluent to each tube. After standing, mix the standard roughly with a vortex meter of low speed. Centrifuge the solution for one minute at 800 G. Take the same volume of the standard solution and dilute it. Mix roughly with a vortex meter. Dilute the standard in turn. The last tube is regarded as a blank. Loosen the strips and push the bottom. Remove the strips to a spare plate. Prepare wheels according to the experiment requirements. Return the unused wheels to a foil bag and store as required. Add 100 mm standards from low to high concentration. Avoid touching the inside wall. Vertically, at 100 mm prepared samples, avoid touching the inside wall. Cover the plate with a sealer and mark the name, time, and the abbreviation. Reheat the incubator in advance. Pay attention to the temperature. Incubate at 37 Celsius degrees for 90 minutes. Take out appropriate volume of biotinylated detection antibody diluent. Add the concentrated biotinylated detection antibody to the diluent to prepare a 100-fold diluted working solution. Vert it gently for 20 times and set aside. Take out the plate. Avoid touching the bottom of the wells. Decant the solution from each well and pat it dry with clean absorbent paper.
vertically at 100 millimeters per wheel. Cover the plate with the sealer and mark the name, time, and abbreviation. Incubate at 37 Celsius degrees for 60 minutes. Take out appropriate volume of double distilled water. Add the concentrated wash buffer to the double distilled water to prepare a 25-fold diluted working solution. Mix it with the magnetic stirrer for 5 to 10 minutes. Take out the appropriate volume of HRP conjugate diluent. Add the concentrated HRP conjugate to the diluent to prepare a 100-fold diluted working solution. Vert it gently for 20 times and set aside. Tear off the plate sealer gently to avoid spillage. Parameter setting. Washing times, 3 times. Pat it dry and replace the absorbent paper. Vertically at 90 mm per well. Cover the plate with the sealer and mark the name, time, and abbreviation. Incubate at 37 Celsius degrees for 30 minutes. Take out the plate. Avoid touching the bottom of the wheels. Tear off the plate sealer gently to avoid spillage. Washing times, 5 times. Pat it dry and replace the absorbent paper. Vertically at 100 mm per wheel. Cover the plate with the sealer and mark the name, time, and abbreviation. Incubate at 37 Celsius degrees for about 15 minutes. Take out the plate, avoid touching the button of the wheels. The first four wheels will show a clean blue gradient after color development. Tear off the plate sealer gently to avoid spillage. Vertically at 50 mm per wheel. 
color turns yellow from the blue when the stop solution is added. Gently wipe the bottom of the plate. Put the plate into the micro plate reader and determine the optical density. Plate layout, data layout. Enter the plate. Shaking fluctuation speed medium continuance duration 5 seconds. Absorbance filter 450 nanometers normal. Start. Save. Measurement. U data. Save the data.